All right, guys, so let's talk about how to create creatives or ads that actually convert, okay? Because what I find is this goes hand in hand with having a strong offer is the creative is gonna really drive the outcome of whether you're making money or not. So let's talk about my process, what's worked for me the last few years to create success from campaigns because it always comes down to testing variations, right? So very, very rarely will you make a few ads, like five, one of them works and then you scale that and that's, you're done, right? Usually it's much more of a process than that and I'm gonna explain that to you, right? So generally what we do to start is we come up with three to four concepts Concepts. These concepts can be, let's say we're talking about uh, insurance, right? So maybe in one concept, you're talking about how much money it saved you. In another, you're talking about how the government's subsidizing healthcare and it's been like huge on your financial situation. Maybe another is that you saw this ad and it's like the stories about this, the experience of seeing it on Facebook and like that's kind of like the, the angle, I guess you could say. And then some other kind of different variation, right? From there, we'll either draft our initial images or script our initial videos to align with that. So at that point, we have three to four, let's say four, four angles, okay, or concepts. From there, uh, we're going to want to multiply that out. Let's say we have our four here, right? And then each one of those is gonna expand into three to four variations of itself. Let's go back to the saving money on insurance angle. We could draw that out into four different concepts, maybe one where you're like running into the bank to tell everyone how much money you've saved and that you're ready to open a savings account. Uh, another that you're running to the grocery store because you're so excited that you can now afford to buy organic food, I don't know, something like this. Uh, a third one, maybe you're on the phone calling your mom to tell her why she should do it too, right? So you get the idea. Within that idea or concept, you wanna expand out to create variations of it. Then here's where it gets really fun, because at that point you have technically a, a maximum in this example of 16 different things. Four different angles, four concepts per equals 16. Now we're gonna expand more. We're going to take each one of those combinations and we're gonna multiply those out where maybe the first video, one of the videos where you're like telling your mom about how you saved on the, your insurance and the government's paying for most of it now and how she can do the same thing. Maybe what we do next is we multiply that times four by having four different variations of how the video starts. Maybe one, it's like you're, you're slamming open the door to your mom's house. Maybe the second one, grabbing your phone, uh, while you're driving and you're calling and it's like crazy and you're at a traffic jam, right? Maybe the next one is you're shouting outside of your window to tell the whole world how, how you saved all this money. And that can just be the first three to five seconds. You don't wanna necessarily have a whole separate video because then we're kind of going back to that second layer of where we're creating completely different concepts, right? The idea is to just see what sticks because in reality, it's just mass testing but you need some type of structure, some type of plan with this. And this is what's, what's really worked for us. So when it comes to image ads, the way you could do this is you have your, uh, let's say four different angles, and then each one has four different concepts inside of how, how you do the images. And then to expand that more, each one of those concepts, you multiply it times four with different colors, right? So maybe there's like a red background, a green background, a white background, a black background. Because you literally have no idea what's actually gonna work, what's gonna work better than others. The only way to, to know this is to really test. That's just the reality. But the cool thing is it's work, but it's not as much as it actually sounds like. Because a lot of this can be shot with like an iPhone or if you have someone that's good with Photoshop, you can draft up these concepts and multiply them out. And that's why I love this. Because like my creative team, I could just say, hey, Here's what we're gonna start with. Let's expand times four into these uh, concepts and then figure out cool, weird variations of ways you wanna start these videos or images that are slightly different and different enough where it should produce a different outcome. And that's really given us the ability to scale campaigns to pretty big numbers, in my opinion, on a daily basis over time, not always. What's also interesting is you also find it's usually not the creative that you think will do well, that does well, it's the one that almost that you're betting on is not gonna actually produce an outcome. And then it surprises you, which is cool, because it shows you that you don't know everything, which is important, but that if you focus on the creativity side and the structure and framework, you'll absolutely create success for yourself when it comes to the performance side. Hey guys, listen, I hope you got a lot of value from this video and you're able to implement and use what we taught. If you, if you did enjoy this, of course, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions below.